Okay, so it's been a while since the last like real analytical upload. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, anyway, real life, uh, no longer working from home as much, unfortunately. So uh, I have a lot less time for my hobbies. But that's okay. So we're still training hard. It's just that uh, the video, the videos, unfortunately, it's really hard to push time aside for that. But uh, this topic here today is uh, more or less brought to you by the Discord again, and we're gonna have a look. So if you wanna, if you wanna place a chat about fencing, you have any questions, um, I'll, I'll answer as many as I can when I'm there. Usually it's most, pretty much all of them. Uh, but then also it's a good place to talk anything fencing. Uh, link in the comments. Have a look. So what we're doing now is we're gonna have a look at. Uh, how park fences, Park Sanyong, and what's really cool, uh, and uh, maybe I can help you guys uh, start implementing that in your own fencing. And it's a really easy flow chart that's uh, easy to follow, and you can kind of apply it in any situation, and it covers off a lot of bases. So a lot of it is just, you do something, you're ready, sometimes things happen, but for the most part, you are in control of the scenarios. So let's have a brief look at here I have a really great uh, well-made flowchart here but you'll see Park he has a lot of prep steps prep steps and then usually the the first one is he will look for the hand uh, right extend that's it he'll either leave parry or attack into it then he'll do a prep step high tip high tip uh, with that high tip, he'll parry usually into eight because that's kind of eight or to, uh, you know eight because it's kind of what flows naturally with that. Not that it'll be a high tip. Look for hand, might leave with it, but it kind of gives them a little variation. And then sometimes it's just look six, and then if there's a weak line, usually someone extends too fast, he'll just take eight go or use it as a parry as well. And then same thing with low tip. Uh, shows a low tip, parry six. Uh, shows a low tip. Sometimes it's toe hit, sometimes it's straight, but still it's, you know, it's an attack on the weak line. Or low tip, look for the hand. Uh, now there are some requisites here that Park does have. You know, he has insane footwork, great stamina, really good flexibility, and a lot of discipline. But the thing with a lot of these fencers is when you do this, is you need to practice this constantly, especially in practice, obviously. Right, but you don't really deviate from that. Every day, you're just following your little flow chart. Not necessarily to the like, to a T, but you're always kind of sticking to that frame of picture that you've set for yourself. So let's go look at a few bouts, and then basically we're gonna look at a few hits. We're gonna come back and just kind of see where, uh, just kind of see if whatever it applies, and we'll see. So here, just park. This was a Wushi, so I believe that was 2018. Sensing Kados, a very uh, tall Russian, uh, who's obviously for the certain reasons not fencing right now, or at least not internationally. Right, so you see every time Park's gonna wanna go into the distance. Six, all right, surprised he didn't hit that, right? So prep step, boom. Six, right, so then we can kinda go back to our, we can kinda go back to our flow chart Right here, prep step. Uh, this one is high tip. It was a parry. This time was eight. Uh, it was six. Here. See, so look at that. Right, a little. He kind of started low. He decided to finish. He just kind of missed, but you know, over, over. Obviously, sometimes. When you gamble, you're gonna get hit. Let's just skip forward. We're gonna skip forward to the next hit. Boom, so let's see. Ah, see, so here, nothing too much. Just prep step. Extend your arm. Can we go back to our floor chart? Probably. Whoops. Uh. So prep step, just kind of look for the hand. He kind of just left and stuck his hand out. That's it, no big deal. All right, boom. So what does this do, right? Prep. Prep, so the attention is high, 
most people want to flush into this, duck under. So we can count this as kind of counterattack, stop hit. So we're still within our flow chart. And let's see here. Oh, prep step. What do we see? Uh, attacks on a way. His hands, uh, caught us hands kind of low at the time. Goes to punish the high line. We're still following our flow chart. Let's see. Ah, so here, so this is one weakness when you start doing flow charts like that though. When someone kind of stops you mid flow, like you'll see here, he gets really caught. Ah, so here, right? Prep step. The hand is a little bit higher, more or less neutral, but what do we do? Parry. Really insane parry. Very last minute. Ah, so here, right? Distract. Hi. Oh, my opponent pulled his arm back. I have time for a flesh. So it's kind of park in a nutshell, right? Just little distractions and then weakness go. All right, so let's keep applying this flow chart and let's bring it over to a match with Heinzer. Here, I'm just, I'm just kind of trying to pull any kind of bout. That way we're not, uh, I basically just type in park fencing and I'm taking points at random. All right, see here, Park didn't get to, uh, he didn't quite really get to finish his first flow, right? Oh, oh man. Uh, Heinzer already kind of punished, right? He was trying to prep, Heinzer was like, heck no, I'm punishing. Oh, so what do we do here? Low, yeah. My opponent kind of pulled, I have time to flesh. Oh, well, it's not too much, right? Just prep. This, uh, Heinzer kind of ran into his first step of the prep, right? He had his point in line. We take those, or at least Park certainly will. Ah, so what do we have now? Hi. Hi. Oh, we have D8, look at that. Prep step, high line. Heinzer commits a little too much. More than happy. See, even Heinzer knows how well he got caught there. Prep, go. So it is actually just really, really, really good by uh, Park to be able to even double that out. And like, as you keep practicing this, you can get right by kind of laser focusing your, your practice, you can really get to specialize into some of those punish touches. Uh, so see again, up, up, boom. Right, so your opponent might try to, so this time, right, Park didn't, Max tried to stop the flow, Park didn't give him the flow. Really good, so let's just skip on ahead. Uh, we're gonna look at a few quick hits here and then we'll look at kind of how so closely uh, kind of shut it down. So let's see. Let's go. And uh, if you, I believe I reviewed this bout. So if you ever want to see this bout, uh, it's one of the faster epic bouts I've ever seen. Let's see. There was a tension up here. Up. Oh. Boom. We can still follow a flow chart. Right, so see, this is where Borelli is very good at this. Like, uh, Park doesn't have a lot of time to set up his, uh, his kind of flow chart. So, Borelli gets to really capitalize. Alright, see here, notice something? Go in, just leave. Just leave, go back in. He did find a weak line, barely got it, but it was a weak line nonetheless. He didn't get to start his flow, 
or I'll just trick it to him. I'm going to look at one more. Ah, uh, see, same thing. Frap, go up, counterattack. So, right, we're going to remember this flowchart here. I'm going to post it in the Discord for anyone who wants to see it. Uh, but just so y'all you all have it, it is here. I'm just going to leave it up. You guys can always pause and have a look. Okay. So let's go back to our video and let's kind of see how... Let's see how so close he kind of... Uh, Wow, that was sick, right? So Seattle was up, leave. Oh, so he really had, he had his tip in a little bit before, right? But see how he's trying to start the flow. He had time to get it going. Prep, leave. Ooh, tip in. Just the fact that he even went for that repost. See here, right? As soon as the closely smelled blood, oh man, he just instantly went in, right? There was no. No time to prep anything. Make myself a little bit smaller on this corner here. See how like scary Park is when he gets to really get into his flow. Oh, there it is, okay. Well, I see that, right? So as soon, as soon as Park stopped kind of like emitting that energy, right? He, he had, he, uh, Seclosi just took advantage of it, right? Low hand, okay. So look at that. Park preps with his high. Instantly has to go to eight. What is someone gonna do after they do eight? Especially if he catches them at this distance. Faint to the face, disengage, right? It's gonna be a six. So if, as soon as Park stopped his flow, so close he was in his face. Not happening, buddy. There we go to the next period. Let's skip ahead. So he almost had his prep there, but it was a little late, see? He kind of gets in, right? It was six, eight. Prep step. Like the idea was pretty good. He was just a little bit far. So overall his flow is still good, but he just a little bit far, but you can kind of see the pattern. So we'll mark that one under counter attack, right? Prep step high, prep step high, low. So in theory, should have been a hit. high, 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 low. In theory, should have hit here. He wasn't a right. But you know, we take those, it happens. Ah, same thing. So he got his attention high. We label those a counter attack again. Also, this is one of the nicer counter hits, uh, toe hits we'll ever see. See how quick that decision making is? Prep step. It's already done. He, kn he knows the close he is flat footed. Boom. But unless you can basically do the splits and toe hit. Wow. So, um, if we revert back to uh, our nifty flow chart here. Flexibility. Now, so here, Steve Park didn't get to flow. All right, he's prepping. Oh, All right, he kind of got stuck. It's not Parky. Now, I believe from here they go to overtime. 
And let's see how let's see how this breaks down. And then you can the closest kind of feeling what he needs to do. He's kind of just jamming him up. You just smack his blade. I wonder if it's to bend it. Anyway. Yeah, see so. Right? He fell he fell for that duck before, but this time. He jammed him a little bit earlier. Like this was probably a, you know milliseconds earlier. That's pretty hype. So overall, we're learning a lot. What's your flowchart? Do you have a flowchart? You can come on the Discord, tell me about it. Uh, if you don't feel like doing that, put it in the comments. Let's learn. Uh, but otherwise, let's uh, let me know what you think of this. Uh, maybe a little, hopefully this video is a little shorter than usual, but at least it's more to the point. So as always, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you're going to the uh, NAC in uh, Minneapolis, I will be there. If you are in Bern, I will also be there. Uh, and also, if you're going to Canadian Nationals, I'll be there. So if you want to say hi, please do. And uh, have a great day. Bye.